Hey everyone and welcome to Avid Max Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady and today we're gonna tie the Ray Charles. Just a few materials on this guy today, pretty simple tie. We're gonna start with our U202. This is a great hook from Umqua. A nice economical hook, pretty affordable, but uh, still of great quality. And then we're gonna use some um, Vivas thread, 12 aught in white, as well as a little bit of 16 aught in the fluorescent orange to give ourselves kind of a hot head on this pattern. The main body of the fly is going to be ostraturl in white and then we're going to use a little bit of tinsel, pearlescent tinsel for the backing. So we're just going to start our thread now that we have our hook in our vise with our locking wraps here just like so and we can work right on back down that bend to right about where that barb is. So from there, I'm just gonna add that tinsel, the pearlescent tinsel. You could use some flashaboo as well or some different tinsels. This is a cool pattern created by a guy named Roy Palm. He's a royalty tyro for Umqua Feather Merchants. It's an awesome fly because it's very simple to tie in and also very effective. Pretty forgiving to fish as well. So we got our tinsel tied in. I'm just gonna walk right back to that same point there. And then we can go ahead and tie in our ostrich hurl, which is an awesome material to look, work with. I really like using ostrich hurl. So we're gonna tie that in right on the back and then we can work on up to the front, just like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do a quick half hitch on this white thread. And we can go ahead and tie in the fluorescent orange real quick. Just like we did the white, a few quick locking wraps. And just make sure that we got everything secured down there before we clip out our excess material here. And then once we're happy with that, we can go ahead and just half hitch this orange thread off for now. And we can throw it on our bobbin cradle and start to wrap that ostrich hurl on forward. So we're just gonna do nice, close touching palmer wraps on this all the way up to that head we created. This is a great fly all throughout the year. It works especially well in the winter months uh, I like to fish it. It's great on the tailwater. If you got sow bugs in the water, if you got scuds that are lighter colored, also pass for a mysis shrimp in certain areas as well. Pretty versatile fly. But we're just going to try and keep them touching all the way up, like I said, to that thread head we made. And that's where we will capture out that ostrich material. So I like to capture it one time and then I'll kind of pull everything back so that I can avoid trapping too many barbels before we come back up and trim out that excess. So once we're happy with that, we have our ostrich wrapped up to the front. Kind of move some of those barbels out of the way. I'll wet my finger a little bit and just go to either side with them, try and get an even amount to go to either side if you can and pull them down slightly as well and then we'll pull that tinsel right up over top and capture it down with just a few quick wraps and trim it out there as close as we can and from there all we have to do is give it a nice clean whip finish and we can make sure our head is kind of how we want it as we do this, cover up all those materials and give ourselves a nice hot spot to draw the fish in. All 
There we are, that's all there is to a Ray Charles. But I will actually add a little bit of head cement on this guy as well. There we go, there's our finished Ray Charles. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us tie in the future, please drop us a comment in the lines below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, be sure to subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there.